G'day guys, now we want to discuss the idea of the invisible hand of the market, which was a term coined by the famous economist Adam Smith. So the idea of the invisible hand theory is that the actions of individuals pursuing their own self-interest, this is the key, result in the best outcome for society, as if guided by an invisible hand. So it's this concept that for society to be better off at large, you do not need people to sort of selflessly act in the interests of everybody else. You can allow people to act selfishly and to look out for themselves. And this will actually naturally result in everybody being better off. So it's something that at first might seem counterintuitive. But we've seen it when we look at things like market equilibrium. We know that equilibrium is efficient and it's the point where there is a maximization of consumer and producer surplus. If we want to use surplus as a measure of how well off people are, then you can say that equilibrium is where everybody in society is better off. But how do we get there? Do you need to get to market equilibrium by having some authority try to make it happen for the sake of everybody else? Well, no. If you just allow people to act selfishly in their own self-interest, imagine that the price is too low. So at this point, we've got a low quantity being supplied. We can see that 